everyone, welcome to my channel. So tonight what I'm going to be cooking for you is lentil or dal soup. Now this version is South Asian, so we will be using South Asian spices. Like for example, mustard seeds, we have curry leaves, bay leaf, cinnamon stick, green chilies, cumin and coriander. I will be um, sharing with you the ingredients in the description box so you can check it later. Now this is one of my really favorite soups so I hope that after watching this video you are going to try it and you're going to let me know um, what you think because this is really really good. So yeah, let's get started. So here are the ingredients that you are going to be needing. You will need half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, medium sized onion diced, one medium sized tomato diced, one clove of garlic chopped into small pieces like this, half a cup of shredded carrot. We also need curry leaves. Now, if you cannot find curry leaves, you can leave it out. There's really no substitute to it because it has a very unique, smoky, earthy flavor to it. And if you know something um, that you can use as a substitute for that, let me know because I haven't really uh, found any substitute for curry leaves. So again, if you don't have it, you can just skip that part. Okay. Now you also need about one or two bay leaves one cinnamon stick. You also need green chilies. If you want spicy, you can include the seeds, but uh, I removed it because I don't like it that spicy. And you would also be needing a teaspoon of coriander and a teaspoon of um, cumin powder. You also need about a spoonful of tomato paste. Now this one is frozen. So if, you, uh, if you're wondering why it looks like this, it's probably been there for um, like months, but that's okay. If you have leftover tomato paste, you can always put it in the freezer. That's the best way to keep it fresh. And uh, to this, I'm going to use red split lentils. You can use the yellow one as well. I, I, don't, uh, I don't think there's difference in flavor, but yeah, I'm using the red one because this is the one that's available to me. So this is one cup of red uh, red lentil and I soaked it in water or tap water for at least two hours just so it will be easier to cook and you don't have to use a um, pressure cooker when you're cooking your soup. So yeah, we'll get started. So this is um, the mustard seeds put it in there and as soon as it starts popping that's when you can add the rest of your other spice dry spices so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my cinnamon stick I also want to add my curry leaves that curry leaves also pops so you can hear it I also added my bay leaf and now the green cheese so we just stick it in there and just smell the aroma. It really smells so good. So, yeah. So after maybe one to two minutes, you don't want to burn it. So you want to add your onion. a little bit and now you can also add your garlic now you just have to saute this until you see that your onion has become transparent I use red onions because I find that red onion is more flavorful than the white or the brown one. Now, put a little bit of pepper or I mean salt to it, like just a 
pinch to help the onion caramelize. And yeah, just let it in there for a minute or two. Now I find this step is very important. You want the onion to caramelize or become transparent because it's gonna all its flavor is gonna be released in the oil and that's really really good flavor that you don't wanna mess out on. So just continue to stir it. Really important. You don't want to add your other ingredients too early because you want all that flavor from the onion to come out. Okay, so now that the onion is ready, you want to add you want to add your carrots. I also want to let uh, the carrots caramelize in the pan before you add the rest of your ingredients. So again, this carrot will release sugar that you need for balancing out the acidity from your tomato paste. So just let it release its lovely colors into the pan. That's when you will know it's ready. Now at this point, you also want to add your cumin and your coriander. So again, you need half, a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of coriander. So just let it flavor your um, vegetable. You also want to add your tomato paste at this point. I just put it there in the middle because I learned that from Gordon Ramsay. You should cook it off a little bit before adding it to the rest of your vegetable. Just so it's not going to be that acidic. So yeah. Just let it cook off there in the center. Now after maybe two minutes, you can just mix them all together and at this point you want to add your tomato all that juice from the tomato okay so what you're making here is what they call the masala or the gravy so you want to cook off the tomatoes and let it become gravy-ish Cover it and let it simmer for, so after about five minutes, you will see that it has come to a pasty consistency like, like so. So it has come into a paste like this, and that's what you want. Now you see that there's browning at the bottom. Just continue to stir your tomatoes and just scrape it out from the bottom. You want to season it a little bit, so I'm just adding a little bit more salt. So at this point, you now have this beautiful masala or gravy. Now, I think I made a lot. Okay. Five or more. Just mix them all together. Give it like a good mix. And 
once they're all mixed together, you kind of want to watch your heat, make sure it's in medium. At this point, you want to add your water or your stock. You can use any stock you have available. You can use vegetable stock, chicken stock, beef stock, I'm not sure. Because uh, chicken has a uh, lighter flavor than beef, so I'm not sure if you want to go with the beef stock, but vegetable and chicken stock would be ideal. Now in this case, I do not have um, chicken stock available. So what I did, I uh, got uh, two cups of hot water and I melted like half, half of chicken cube or chicken bouillon. So half a cube of chicken bouillon I melted in um, my hot water and that's what I'm gonna add for stock. And you just want to mix it until your vegetable is covered. You want to scrape out the bottom of the pan. Make sure all the flavor is in there. And you want to add more. As soon as you see it boiling, you can cover it and let it simmer in low heat for 25 minutes, maybe, or until it's ready. I will show you how it should look like when it's ready. Okay, so now at this point, you have to remove the cinnamon stick. Okay. The reason why we remove that, also want to remove the bay leaf. This is hard. The rest of it is okay. Only the bay leaf and the cinnamon stick are too hard, so you don't want to. The curry leaves should be fine. Now, you want to use a hand blender. So, you want to use your hand blender and just pulse it. If you do not have this, again, you can use just the normal blender. And then just make sure that you achieve that super light consistency. Your soup ready. Mm. Love it. Let's taste it and we'll enjoy. Mmm. So good. If you try it, let me know if you like it. And then I will eat more. <laughs> My fiance is watching me. I 
it's not going to be in the video. Maybe I can include it in the video. <laughs> it's really yummy. <laughs> Try it and let me know. How much time do we have?